Who tells me like the greatest show anywhere on earth, on earth. Come on, y'all, put your hands together. Let's go. All right. I'd like to introduce my friend. He goes by the name of D. John. Listen, any way you take them, well, I told you I was going to say it in the way she worked while I don't love no hate, you're supposed to have been like that, it's amazing. The rich of this man is amazing. Train them to make your thing and make it. It's better than ever for the age. You can take it. It's yours for the taste. It's right here. He leaves. No God. Get out your seat and clap your hands. Get out your seat and clap your hands. Get out your seat and clap your hands. The greatest show anywhere on earth, on earth. How's everyone feeling out there this afternoon? <laughs> Welcome to the Alate Dogs performance. Uh, my, uh, my manager, Howard, gave you a little bit of our background, but I'd like to give you a little bit more. My father actually started working at the age of five years old. He is from Chile, South America. He is actually the second youngest of 22 kids, if you can believe that. And when he was a kid, he was actually very poor. He'd go many days without food. He didn't have shoes to walk around. And he was exactly like those sponsor me children that you see on TV nowadays. And he started working when he was five. He'd sell spices on the streets or newspapers or be down at the pier selling fish. Anything he could do to help his family, that's what he would be doing even at the age of five. And when he was 12, he found a dog on the side of the street because in Chile, there's actually a lot of stray dogs, so it wasn't that difficult. Started training with the dogs and fell in love with training. His mom saw that he had a very natural talent for training dogs, so they got a couple more dogs and put together a small routine and started doing performances on the sides of the streets. And if they were privileged enough, sometimes in small schools as well. About a year after that, his brother joined him and through their hard work, they caught the attention of some circuses down in Chile, which slowly led to tours of South America, including Argentina and Peru. And uh, they were in Peru, and in 1989, a scout from a show called Circus, in, uh, Circus Vargas in California actually came up to them and said, we are looking for a completely different act, but we saw you guys' dog act, and it's great, do you want to come to America? Now for them, that was amazing because nothing had ever been handed to them. They always had to work really hard to get as far as they had gotten. And so they talked it over that night, and the next day they went to the meeting. Two months later, they were here in America. And uh, it was like the American dream when they got here. The first year they were here, they had the privilege of performing in front of Michael Jackson. They did a couple of commercials and they were in a scene from the movie The Doors. So they got here and it was like everything started happening. And they could have sat back and said, okay, we made it, this is it. But they didn't. They stayed dedicated and kept working hard. And that slowly led to my father and myself being able to win America's Got Talent. Uh, <laughs> which I personally think that's one of his biggest achievements because I've never heard of a poor kid in a different country working hard coming to America, and then also winning America's Got Talent. So I'm very, very proud of my father for that. But I'm actually way more proud of the fact that my father became an American citizen in 2010. Okay, so we're ready to get started. I have a question before we do, though. You guys ready to see some dog tricks? I said, are you guys ready to see some dog tricks? All right, we'll go ahead and get started. 